Hi, this is Shadi and what you see in front of you is an animation that uh, I did when I was in architecture school in my master's cycle and uh, today I want to talk to you about how martial arts training helped me become not only good you know, on the mats but also taking on the challenges of the outside world as well. So before I started training Aikido, um, I was third year in architecture school and it wasn't going that well. I had already signed two probations. Uh, if you are familiar with the system, two probations, third one, and just like baseball, you are out. So uh, my GPA was very much low and I had already repeated two classes and it was very tough from working at night, you know, finishing 2 and 3 a.m. and having a course on 8 a.m. the following morning. It wasn't very easy. And also, um, because in the first two years in architecture school, they had taken everyone. So we were hundreds. Um, so they, they weren't going very easy on us because they wanted to have the best of the best. And also, you know, they would go in let's say 300 in the first year or 200 and they would finish around 50. So it was during that time where a lot of people were quitting. Um, either they would get kicked out because they uh, failed a course more than three times or uh, they had signed three probations, they had to change major, etc, etc. So I was on the verge of either quitting or being forced to change majors. And uh, I didn't want to quit because, like I said, I was already three years in and uh, I didn't want to stop. I'm not the kind of person that starts something and uh, quits. So a lot of advisors told me, you know, maybe you should reconsider this. Maybe you should, uh, you know, think of another major. But no, I didn't want I did not want to stop. So around October of 2013, I had uh, started my fourth year and uh, I started Aikido at the same time. So, um, obviously being infatuated with martial arts as a kid, uh, I had dedicated a lot of time to Aikido and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I started going less and less to college. And uh, what's surprising is that in college, I, the more I tried and the more I worked towards my project and stuff, you know, the lower were my grades. It was very stressful. Um, obviously I was going overboard and uh, overthinking etc so the first thing that I started to do was go less to school because uh, you know either I had to train or recover it from training and uh, it basically said that you know take it easy on the studies uh, let's train martial arts indirectly I wasn't doing that on purpose but uh, I started to notice that I was less stressed um, regarding my projects and doing the, you know, the models and uh, doing the architectural drawings, etc. Um, even though I was going less, uh, I was producing far better uh, results. And uh, I would attribute that to martial arts because uh, not only they uh, helped me, you know, unwind, that's the first thing, but two, uh, they helped me, uh, you know, clear my head and really meditate because, you know, if you ever practiced Aikido, you would uh, see like it's like a martial yoga, if you want. There's a lot of focus on the breathing, you know, the technique, whatever your partner is giving you, you work with them. So it basically became my uh, mentality outside of the dojo, you know, whatever life is giving me, I had to work with it. I did not fight it very hard. I would blend with it and uh, try to uh, produce the best uh, outcome of it. So. In a sense, uh, Aikido does help you outside of the mat. And I think this is the sole purpose of Aikido. It's not just self-defense, you know, as some people claim, but uh, it's to make you uh, a better person and really truly reconcile the world. So, uh, O-sensei or Morihai Ueshiba said that uh, if everyone practiced Aikido, you know, the world would reconcile. And that's true because uh, if everyone had the same goal and mindset and eventually you know, polished their spirit through this practice, you know, there would be no violence whatsoever. Um, so I started noticing my grades were going, uh, you know, up and they were improving and I was no longer on probation. So I was going less to class and yet I was producing far better projects 
and my grades were going up and the advisor was uh, saying like uh, I congratulate you you are uh, working harder I can see that but that wasn't the case um, I had also stopped working as a bartender because uh, there were no times anymore because I was in my fourth year and the classes were getting uh, a bit more complex in timing so there were night classes as well um, and on the weekends I needed to do my uh, projects because you know if I fail one more time I would get kicked out and I didn't want that so when I stopped bartending in the summer of 2013 I said that I wanted to do everything I didn't do. I picked up painting. I'm also a painter. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, but mainly Aikido helped me, you know, um, to get connected with myself and truly blend with whatever, you know, um, projects or school work I had to do and produce the best results. Because if you don't know that architecture uh, is very much complex, they give you um a field you know a terrain uh and they give you all sorts of uh you know complexes around it either you know buildings or you know it's a cliff or uh, you know you have to do analysis and you find the answer yourself and the answer to this area is an architecture that truly um responds to the need of the context of that terrain so it was you know, so every project was like really solving a puzzle. So you had the concept of the architecture. Why is it there? And also you had to design it from outside and inside the functions. You had to draw the plans, etc. So it was a lot of mental work as well as physical work and doing the model and uh, animation and 3D work. So it was uh, mental and physical work all around. But uh, surprisingly, the less I was going to class and going to Aikido at night, um, the more I found myself in the design state, I had far more empty and clear head and it allowed me to design uh, far more efficiently and also um, I wasn't panicking when, I'm, when, when I was in my design process. So everything that came out was uh, came out of a clear head, someone who had clearly meditated and uh, that's why I was working far more intelligently but less but I was getting more grades and eventually finished my studies. So, what, whether it's Jiu Jitsu, Aikido, uh, Muay Thai, whatever, martial arts, they help you unwind uh, to a certain level, but uh, also Aikido, I would say it helped me specifically because um, Aikido, it talks about harmony and blending with whatever your opponent is giving you. That's why it's so pacifist, because you cannot create aggression on your own you have to take whatever someone else is giving you in order to produce a technique or uh, nullify the situation so uh, aikido in a way did help me not in the sense that you know i would become a badass fighter and someone that could defend themselves unfortunately but i don't regret doing it and getting my black belt because it helped me through my academics uh, and becoming a far more calm person whether it's a discussion a debate, something really controversial and sensitive. Um, I become, you know, a better intellectual through Aikido. So it is like an intellectual martial art, not so much on the self-defense and sparring. But uh, when it, be when it, when we're talking about becoming a better person, if you are someone who is able to become a better person, I'd say Aikido really helps. But unfortunately, uh, some who take it like a self-defense or whatever, they take their third, fourth down, they never sparred in their life and they think they're, you know, this badass and they become really arrogant. And unfortunately, there's a lot of bad eggs in Aikido. Um, but when it comes to becoming a good person, if someone has the tendency, Aikido will surely help. It takes a good soul to become you know, good through Aikido, because if you read the literature of Morihai Ueshiba, this is what he wanted, not, uh, he never said, you know, we're become, we're gonna become deadly or to go into the octagon, uh, we're gonna become dangerous assassins, uh, he, none of that, he talked about reconciling the world and truly, you know, meditating uh, with whatever life gives you and you know, reach, you reach the best outcome through that experience. And I think this is the purpose of Aikido and not, uh, you know, 
becoming like a badass fighter because if you want to become a badass fighter you just go out and spar so that's mainly it, it about this video um, martial arts helped me become an intellectual and an academic and eventually helped me reach uh, beyond a master degree in architecture and uh, after a time where I was failing and I was on the verge of quitting or being forced out of my major so I did not have it easy but through martial arts I was able to finish it. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.